Why the Future of Work is all about us living and working in a more transparent world. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of The Future in 5. I am Jacob Morgan, this is where I share thoughts, ideas, and commentary on the future of work in five minutes or less. Um, many of you may have heard of the website Glassdoor. Uh, it is a, I guess you can call it a career website, sort of like a trip or um, a trip, sort of like a trip advisor or Yelp for organizations, where basically um, you can go onto this website, glassdoor.com, you type in the name of virtually any company, and you can see pictures of the offices, uh, salaries, employee reviews, uh, approval ratings of the CEO, uh, benefit information, I mean, pretty much anything that you would want to know about this company, you can see uh, for free publicly and it's put up by employees that actually worked there. So first imagine uh, the impact that that has. Uh, so if you are an organization that is either uh, you have unethical business practice, you, uh, uh, can't even speak today. You have unethical business practices. You don't treat your employees well. Uh, that will be uncovered on there. Uh, the flip side is also true. If you are a wonderful place to work, that will also be uncovered there. So you have this unbelievable level of transparency inside of these organizations. And the amazing thing is that uh, it doesn't even matter if the organization is there or not. It's sort of like social media. Uh, whether you participate in the conversations online or not, it doesn't matter. Your consumers, your customers are still going to be talking about them uh, or talking about you. And the same is true for employees. Uh, so all these transparent conversations are taking place about your brand, your organization, what you stand for, what your values are, what it's like to work there, the people that work there, management, leadership, all of these conversations are happening about your organization in the public domain. And so you can imagine that if you were to apply to work for a particular organization, um, before you even have a phone call with anybody that works there, before you even send in your resume, you already know pretty much everything you need to know about this organization and whether or not this is a place that you want to work. So you just go to Glassdoor, uh, you type in the name of a company and you see pretty much everything that you need. I mean, how amazing is that? But I think it's gonna get even further. Uh, we're gonna go even deeper. And some organizations uh, who I'm not allowed to name are experimenting with actually um, going deeper in this by actually understanding the manager rankings, the manager reviews. So now imagine you apply to work for an organization, you decide it's the company that you want to work for. The next step is, well, who within that organization do I want to work for? Which managers are rated the best? Which managers are not rated well? Which teams are performing better than others? Imagine being able to get that level of transparency into an organization or inside of an organization. Uh, now, of course, there are limits to um, what can publicly be displayed, especially when we look at things like team performance, um, but there's no reason why manager ratings uh, wouldn't be available on something like Glassdoor in the future. However, organizations, as I mentioned themselves, are experimenting with giving this uh, level of transparency once you actually get inside the door. Um, so it's basically uh, you start working for an organization uh, and then you have that level of transparency into which managers are good, which ones aren't that good, etc. And so think about what this means for you as an individual um, and what it means for you as an organization. And so first of all, as an organization, clearly you have to shift your mentality and mindset uh, to creating an organization where people genuinely want to be there. Uh, because if you don't, it'll be discovered, people will know about it, and they won't want to work for you. Uh, as an individual, what that means for you, if you are a manager or an executive or a leader, is that you also need to adapt and evolve. Because if you don't, again, people will not want to work for you. Eventually, the organization will have to let you go. Uh, because if you have poor ratings, poor reviews from your employees, uh, and nobody wants to work for you, then your role as a manager is essentially useless. So this level of transparency into our organizations, I think, is something that we're going to see much more of uh, in the coming years. Um, and I think it's going to be really amazing to bring this level of transparency into how work gets done. Uh, it's not completely here yet, 
but it is coming. So now is the good time to look at your workplace practices, to look at employee experiences, to look at your management uh, and leadership models, and to figure out what you can do to create an environment where people truly want to be there, not where they actually need to be there. Curious to hear what you think, leave me a comment below. Uh, if you want to sponsor a series of videos, my email, jacob at thefutureorganization.com. And to get access to more of these things, you can visit thefutureorganization.com. And if you want to subscribe to the newsletter, again, thefutureorganization.com forward slash newsletter. Or you can simply text the word future to the number 44222. Again, that's the word future to the number 44222. That's it for me. I'll see you next time on an episode of The Future in Five. Hey. Are you interested in the future of work? If so, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get all the latest content on the future of work and stay up to date on all the latest trends and happenings. Not to mention, you will make me very, very happy. Make sure to subscribe.